What's going on, Fritz fam? Well, here we are at Aquashella Dallas 2023. I was lucky enough to catch Stan Thing. Hey guys. I convinced them to go coral shopping with me. Are you going to take it out easily on anything? I'll, I'll, I'll find the good ones. How's that? OK, let's go. So, Dan, what type of corals are you looking for right now? So, I kind of have to like split my brain into two things, right? So, there's like stuff I like as a hobbyist, right? And then there's stuff I like as a coral farmer. Okay. And those two things are like wildly different. So, the sort of stuff that I would be looking at as like a hobbyist might be things that like would make it into like a large polyp stony coral collection. Okay. And but has like no interest in like future propagation. Okay. Whereas, as a coral farmer, I need to find something that's like really, really cool and interesting, but that I can propagate sustainably forever. The number one thing that I see right away right. is this um, is this bower banky here. These used to be called Acan bower bankies. Now they're technically Homophilia bower banky. That thing I love. It's like this, like kind of this two-faced thing going on. But it's not just like two different ones that are stuck together. It's actually like an, a hybridized one that's both red, purple, and green, but it's like super separated. You hear a lot of people doing grafting. So this is an example of grafting. So though. grafting really isn't like a, a super natural thing when it comes to this. Anything that's kind of like split like that kind of, it's called grafted, mm -hmm. but it's not a, a thing that like we as hobbyists or aquarists do. Okay. This is a natural thing that happens in the wild. I, I'm like a big Ganiopora fan, mm -hmm. and I've been like searching out like the real deal like red glitter bomb type Ghani. And the last time I was here where I actually bought coral, I actually bought it at retail for like $800. No joke. I'm not even sure I still even have it. Like it just became lost in the sauce of like the rest of the farm. It lost its sparkle or something. But I don't even know if I still have it. So I'm still looking out for something like that. Yeah, I like Brandon. He's, He's a great right. guy. He's all right. Brandon, say hi to everyone. He's like, thanks, Sean. Thanks for not warning me that you were coming. You want, you want to talk about clams? Yeah, I love talk about clams. John with Clam Man. All right, John. You obviously know Than Thing. Thing. Man. Man. He's so well dressed. I hear he mows his lawn in this suit right here. Yeah. Is this true? It's a rumor. John here is Clam Mania. He has got like the most insane, like, rockin' collection of clams that I've ever seen. But boy, like, I don't have the secret to making this stuff work. You realize in this hobby, there's people who can grow zoanthids like there's no other, corals really well. And the nice thing about when you bring people to these, these places, you get to get the best of the best together and share notes. And I'll be glad to help him with a clam display because I think everybody should get a clam display. All yeah, right. For sure. So as a funny aside, yeah. early this morning, these two tanks didn't look like this. <laughs> so this one here was clear yes. and this one here was not. So what happened here? Spawning. OK, so this is what happens. If one guy spawns, it triggers the whole tank. Now, right now, it's still not clear. But this morning, it was like like a fog. Really? Like, like a major fog. Yeah. I got here late last night due yeah. to the airport and the plane, things like that. Mm -hmm. So when, when that happens, if I'm acclimating, that's why I tell everybody, acclimation is one of the most important thing, guys. For clams, acclimation is one or the most important thing, period. That little spike changed a little bit, they didn't like it, one spawned like that. Really? Triggered it. Wow. Like that. And it caused a cascade, so they all spawned. They all spawned. Yeah. Are they at risk right now? No, they're fine. Okay. If they're at risk, it would be wide open. Right. Yeah, there's no stress. You can okay. tell they were stressed to be super gapping. Okay. And they're all happy. Okay. Yeah. And so at least they're safe. No, no, they're fine. They're fine. But these ones you are able to sell. Yeah, but you see the difference? It's yes. just the water clarity at this point. Right. But they look exactly, the clams look exactly the same right now. Yeah. If you were going to make an order of clams from John here, how many clams would you be looking for? I would probably start off with like, I'd probably start off with like a dozen just to make sure that I'm not completely yeah. incompetent. Right. But then if it goes well, I mean, it could be like hundreds possibly. Wow. Yeah. But if I wanted to take home a clam today, which one should I take home? Believe it or not, our Corsias are like bulletproof. So my personal favorite in here, even though it's like a more common clam, is this, is this Durasa. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Just because of its coloration, they don't usually look 
that rainbow. It usually might look like that. Yeah, so look at the color difference between mm -hmm. those two. That's like, that is like an A specimen versus like a super ultra specimen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So what is the price point difference between, let's say, the, the one Durasa versus the, the well, other? Well, this might be a range from like 120 to 150, depends on the pattern, things like that, sometimes more. But the one you get more intense, so you're looking at 250, 300. So then, should we get that now? Being like a clam novice, it still is the one that's jumping out at me. Okay. Like that's the winner. One of the vendors already bought this one and this one. So it's uh, already oh, the no. First oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah. You <laughs> have to tell me these things before I get I so excited. I should have... Uh, I can pick up. I should have started with that. <laughs> wow. That's a no deal, John. Do you know who I am? I was about to throw down the Fritz card. Did he get paid for it? Of course. Did he just it. say he was paying for it? No, no, it's, I got the money here to prove oh. he's getting paid for it. <laughs> it's too late. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Enough of this guy. All right. Enough of this guy. Next time, John. Yeah, searching the coral show where there's like 45 coral vendors around, there's literally corals everywhere. I. I don't know how someone like Than is able to pick out that key piece. This one just like stopped me dead in my tracks. Okay. Okay. So where are we? This is corals down south. There's a blastomusa which looks like a well sea. Yep. It's like the deep purple center with that bright, bright, bright yellow ring around the outside. I kind of wanted it as like a hobbyist collector, mm -hmm. but we'll just like have that in the bank. If, if, we, if we can propagate it down the road, great. Right. In the meantime, it'll be a pet at the office. Right. Exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah. So what is the price point for something like that? That was 400. 400. Yeah. All right. All right. Is this the one you want, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which card do I want to put it on? Here we are. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Jimmy, Dan's found something, but I haven't got anything. I wanted the clam, but John didn't tell us before we got started that the clam was already sold. So he literally educated us by a clam that we can't have. Thank Appreciate you, it. Thank, thank you. you. Sean, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank All you, right. Sean. Appreciate You're it, buddy. You're welcome. Now, we still have to pick out one coral for me. Yes. Because I haven't gotten anything yet. What's up, Dwayne? All right. All right. Oh, Dwayne right. Ward. Ward's Aquatics. Good friend of mine. You got something good for me, Dwayne? Off the top of your head, Dwayne, do you, like, which one's this one? Dragon Soul. That, this is a Dragon Soul. That is a 24 care. To right, me, no. I like this one here because it it's like orange and then turns is yellow, but I guess this one does the same. So what are you seeing that I'm missing? That is funny that you would point to this one first as your first inclination. Right. Because that is the one that I would have picked also. Exactly. Right. That's the one, right? Right. Of all the different super high-end torches, that's the guy. The game got away from me. These 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 things like changed overnight. Like it's the hot coral always seems to be a moving target year right. after year after Rotates, year. Absolutely. Yeah, so right absolutely. now, the, one of the hottest corals are these torches. Out of curiosity, like general price point and the price point for the, the one that we were looking at. So that guy right there in the middle that you were looking at runs about 250 a head. Okay. Okay. To be perfectly honest, if that was on Tidal Gardens, it would, I would sell it for more. <laughs> so 250 <laughs> is sounding like... So, uh, that ain't bad. Dwayne, we're going to take it. All right. Now, don't let anyone take it, okay? I got you. I mean, because I just try to take something that someone else tried to buy. I know how this works here. Did you just say he was paying for it? We're actually going to buy this right now, so you can't change your mind. Idle Gardens is green. All right. So let's see. Jimmy, if it rejects it, you have to just pretend that it didn't. So I just know I put about five hotel rooms on that thing for all my Fritz staff. Got a swipe. Jimmy. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Okay. All right, we got it. All right. Oh, I could have tipped you. You could I'm sorry. I mean, again, this right. is a good That's price. Okay. Thank you so much. Anytime. For underpricing your coral, so I had to buy it instantly. <laughs> Fritz Aquatics is getting into the coral selling business now, so we'll be selling this one coral this Friday on our Fritz website for $400. All right? <laughs> See you uh, here first. <laughs> immediate profit. There you go. All right, I so like there it. you have it. Were you trying to price it low for the camera? And so you're like... And then I took it from you? It is what it is. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Come on, Jimmy. Let's grab this coral and go before Dwayne stops us. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to the Fritz channel. And go check out Dan. Dan is everyone's favorite saltwater influencer. So go check it out. He has a massive facility in Ohio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out Tidal Gardens. Like and subscribe to his channel. And then like and subscribe mine. All right, until then, snailed it.
Do you know why I went with Dan instead of me? You see this, Dan? They recognize me first. Okay. An oxalato? Do you like it? Once every, like, six months, someone <laughs> recognizes me. It feels good, though, doesn't it? It's just kind of cool. I like the kids, you know? Thanks again, Sean. No, thank you, Dan.